Hi, dearest. So in my video today, we're going to see what tubular crinoline can make. So let's start off by looking at the materials we're going to be making use of. Measurement tape, our tubular crinoline or your pipe, as some people call it. Your scissors and the Ankara piece left over from making an attire. Now, this is our money making series. Have you been following it? If you're a millionaire, you need to join because this is how to make money as a millionaire. And also, if you're a seamstress, you need to join up in this series. This should be like our fifth or sixth video, I think. Anyway, so you also be needing your needle and thread and safety pin. So before we get into making this sailor's knot Ankara headband, that's what it's called, let us look at who won the game challenge for our last video last week. Now we have five winners that we're going to select, remember, so I say congratulations to you all. Now I'll be mentioning them as we go along in the video and they are to win to attend the Vencraft Academy Toban Class 1 for free. Now who is our winner number one? It is Eunice. Do contact us through the Vencraft Academy reception. Now we're going to be cutting out our piece. Now what I'm doing is measuring out 1.5 each and I need four, three pieces of that by the length of 22 inches. Okay, next thing we're going to be folding it into two at the long length, the long length, that's the length of 22 and I'm going to be sewing it all the way down. The next thing is to measure my elastic band, my apologies I forgot that, and it was one inch. So what I'm going to do is cut out a piece 2.5 inches length by 12 inches. That's what I'm cutting out, 2.5 by 12 inches. Okay, now that's it. I'm going to be folding it upside down too as the previous, and I'm going to be sewing it all the way down the length. Okay, so now I've sewn it. So you cut out the little excess after you sew so that it doesn't inhibit or prevent you from tucking it as in turning it right side out, or is it inside out? Okay, then you use your safety pin like that. You put it at the edge grabbing the two edges then you take the head inside the material and start pushing in that's the quick way i just discovered and how to turn things inside out instead of using like a screwdriver or whatever you just do as you saw <laughs> all right keep watching and learning okay now once that's done you take your safety pin also on your elastic band and you push it in through the piece that one, one 2.5 rather by 12 inches now I'm going to reduce the elastic band but this is how you do it anyway okay keep watching and learning Okay, so let's take a look at winner number two on our last week's game challenge and that is Franny Benjamin okay back into today's tutorial all right so the next thing you want to do is use your uhu gum on the edge of the tubular crinoline now that would ensure that the hairs don't prevent it from passing through the um, cut out Ankara that we have done and you take your safety pin like so and pass it through the turned inside out um, Ankara, remember the one we cut 1.5 by 22 inches. Now you're going to do this to three of those pieces. Now it's so easy when you do it that way. Now we have our three pieces. Remember to use um, safety pin or pin to hold it at the edges so it doesn't slip out. So now I have my three inches. I'm arranging them so that I can easily do the next game. But who is our winner? Number three. All right, and that is. Onye nyechi, onye oh sorry, onye <laughs> Alright, so now watch carefully how you make your sailor's knot. I'm going to keep quiet. Did you get it? If you didn't, please do reverse back and watch again. So right now what I'm doing is just adjusting it so that it will be flattened and the knot will be neatly created. So you spend some time doing that. So look at it. It looks so lovely. I think I could stop here. 
Okay, the next step is to cut out the excesses on the two sides. And when you cut, you sew with your needle and thread to join the three heads together. Okay. Then you measure what's left so that you know the band to use. Now, what I measured was 20.5. Remember, your head circumference is 22. So that means I need like 1.5 to make it 22, but I'll add some extra. So what I did was to cut my elastic band 3.5 inches, okay, because I'm going to sew it so it will take out some inches to make it 22. The aim is to make sure that the full length is 22, okay? So now I'm going to sew those edges after I have fixed in the new elastic band. Remember, I've shown you how to fix that. So I'll sew it to the Ankara piece that I cut out. Now that's to ensure that it doesn't slip off the Ankara piece. Then I sew that end to the sailor's knot that I have just done. Now remember, your Ankara length should be longer than the um, elastic band. Remember, it is 12 inches that I used, but the elastic band is 3.5 inch so i'm going to be sewing the two edges one i'll sew to the end of here then i will turn it in the right way so that it doesn't twist and sew it to the other edge so keep watching and I hope you're getting how to make this sailor's knot Ankara headband. But before we proceed, we have winner number four. And who made that be? Are you clapping? It is Oluwa Kemi. Yeah. Okay, let's get back to today's tutorial. All right, so the next thing I did was cut out a piece. I didn't measure this. This should be probably like um two inches by six inches. Now that's to cover the place that we sewed. So what I'm going to do is just glue the two edges straight, like what I'm doing, so that no edge is sewn. I'll even do also the two other mounts, so to speak. Just watch. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. And once I'm done, I'm going to glue it and take it round the joinings that I made on the elastic band to the sailor's knot Ankara. Oh, yeah. And it was really looking nice. Oh, and it matched the client's um, dress. You know, the client actually made a dress like this and gave me the piece. And I made this lovely headband for her. So, you see, when you make a cloth. You can also make more money by making a headpiece for your client. And if you're a millionaire, you can stop by that tailor shop close by and do likewise. Keep watching and learning. Remember, we still have the fifth winner to announce, so stay tuned. And in case you're looking for ways to support this channel, you can join our membership program by clicking the join button or also you can check our shots in our shots you see super thanks and in there you could help grow the channel all right then let's get back to today's tutorial if you gain value from this video please do give me a thumbs up and our fifth winner is Emilia congratulations Congratulations once more to our five winners. Please do check the description of this video. You will see the event craft academy reception. Click on it and request for your gift. Now, if you want to keep receiving lovely educational videos from me, please do click that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when I upload new trainings. Now, before you go, you have a great opportunity to be one of the winners of this week's challenge. Now, what is the question for today? Who was winner number three? Now, we have three winners for this week's to win Miss Class 2 training. Please do write your answers down in the comments of this video below.